Hello and welcome to Yoga with Michelle for another kids yoga adventure. Now I don't know about where you are, but where I am, it's definitely feeling like fall of the year. There's a chill in the air. I've gotten a little pumpkin plant over here. So when it's cold, sometimes I like to think about places that are hot, maybe the desert. So today we are going to take a yoga adventure to Egypt. Have you ever been to Egypt? Maybe, maybe not. We're going to go together today. First, we have to pack our suitcase. So extend your legs out long. Now, to go to the desert, we need, what do we think we need? Some sunscreen? Yeah. So let's reach up and put your sunscreen in your suitcase. Hmm, what else do we need? Our hat. So twist one way. Get your hat and put it in your suitcase. Now, of course, we need clothes, so turn the other way, get your clothes, and put them in your suitcase. Now reach up, and then close the lid of your suitcase. Oh, but you know what we also need? Some snacks. I love snacks when I'm traveling. So I get really hungry. That's really good to keep your body healthy and safe. So let's make a sandwich. All right, let's do it. So there's our bread. Let's go ahead and butter our bread. Ready? Butter, 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 butter. Now, should we put maybe some tomatoes on the sandwich? All right, but just one way, get your tomatoes and go plop, 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 plop. And then what else should we have? Some cheese. Yes! So twist the other way, get your cheese and go slap. Now let's put our other piece of bread on, so reach up. Ooh. Ooh. I think we're ready to go on our airplane ride. So we're going to come up onto our knees, reach one hand over, one leg out, bring your other arm up and say, meow. We're flying all the way across the ocean to Africa, where Egypt is, but we only made it halfway. So let's do airplane on the other side. One hand down, one leg up, reach that hand, and then fly all the way across the ocean. Awesome. Now we've made it to Egypt, but in order to get to the pyramids, we need to take a boat ride. So let's get into our boats. Hands behind your legs, maybe you lift one leg, two leg, maybe one arm, no arms, and you're balancing or you're here. Wherever you are, let's row our boat. Row, row, row with your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wow, we have made it to where the pyramids are. We need to hike in the desert in order to find the pyramids. Now, good thing we packed some clothes and hiking boots and sunscreen. So let's put our sunscreen on first. Oh, grab it. Whenever you see skin, all in one. Put your hat on your head. Boop. Let's do our boots. So we're going to pick up one foot and just shake our foot side to side to get our boot on. All right, that boot is on nice and tight. Let's get your other foot and shake it side to side to get your boot on. Now, let's go hiking. So we're going to stand up and we're going to just march. What do you think we would see in the desert? I see some camels over there, and I see Bedouins in a tent. Oh, and up ahead, I see the pyramids. Now, I think we should try to climb the pyramids. What do you say? Yes. All right, let's go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, all of this traveling and hiking has made me hungry. How about you? I think it's time we have our snack. So let's swing our bodies. Place one hand to your belly, one hand to your head. Now can you rub your belly with one hand and pat your head with the other? Well done. Let's try with the other side. One hand to the belly, other hand to the head. Rub your belly with one hand and pat your head with the other. Mm, that snack is delicious. Now, in order to get down from the pyramid, I think we should surf. So let's stand up and 
get on our desert surfboard. Arms out. Going down the pyramid is so much fun. We'll switch sides. And we're going down the other side. Wow, so much fun. Now I think we should go inside the pyramid. See what we can find, ready? Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. Wow, this pyramid is full of amazing treasures from King Tutankhamun, or King Tut for short. And there's archeologists doing some digging. They want us to help them dig. Are you ready to come dig and do some archaeological work with us? All right, so we're going to do our digger pose. So you take your legs out wide, hands behind your back, and you go over and dig. Oh, I think we're getting close to finding something. Let's keep digging. Dig. I think two more digs should do it. Ready? Dig. One more. Dig. We've discovered the sarcophagus of King Tut. So the sarcophagus is kind of like a box, but I put the mummies. Do you think we should see if he's inside? I'm gonna be so brave. I know we can do it. Ready? We're moving the lid. Looking inside, there's the mummy of King Tut. Uh oh, he's coming to life. And he's going to chase after us. So he's the mummy. He's going really, really slow. So I think we can beat him outside the pyramid. Oh, we go, 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 oh, we go. We made it. Now I think it's time for a camel ride to an oasis. An oasis is a place in the desert that has water and trees. And it's almost like a tropical paradise. So let's get on our camels. So we're going to start with camel pose. Come to your knees. Tuck your toes, hands behind your back, and go just like a camel. So that was my camel. What does your camel do? Oh, your camel does the same thing. Okay, so let's stand up. Bring one leg over. Let's get on the camel. The other leg up and over, and we're on the camel. And we're riding through the desert. What an amazing place this is. Up ahead, I see the oasis. Camel stopped, so let's get off the camel, just like we did. Get him on. Oh, there's water and trees. Let's do our tree pose. Bring one foot on top of the other, hands on the hearts. Try not to wobble. You doing well? I know you can do it. Let's try the other side. Beautiful trees. And if you sway and wobble, just like a real tree, no big deal. Now I see a bird drinking in the water. So we're going to try our drinking bird pose. So I'm going to turn to the side, sit back like you're in a chair, bring your arms up and fold forward like a drinking bird. You can go slurping it up. Now let's try it again. A little challenge, a little balance. Can you do it? Lift up your heels and now fold over and drink that water. Oh, well done. Oh. What an amazing adventure we've had in the desert. Oh, food. Oh, I'm getting very tired. And the stars and the moon are coming out. So let's do our crescent moon pose. We're going to stand up, bring one hand down, one hand up and over for crescent moon pose. Let's try it on the other side. Get a nice, gentle stretch up and over. Now let's do our star pose. Taking your feet wide, arms out wide. Let's sing twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Little star, how I wonder what you are. And I think it's time to go back to our house. Get some nice sleep. I think we should go in hot air balloons. I love hot air balloons. You get to revisit all the amazing things that you've seen. So let's blow up our balloon together. Do 
breath in, and out. Side to side, side to side. Look, there's the oasis, then there's a campus, and the pyramid, uh-oh, then there's King Tut. Looks like he's chasing after one of the archaeologists. Tick tock, like a clock. Tick tock, like a clock. Until I find my center. Wow. Well, it's time for us to rest. So let's lie all the way down on our backs, arms and legs out long. Eyes are closed. Wow, what an amazing adventure we had. We flew all the way across the ocean to Egypt. We explored the pyramids. We helped archaeologists dig. We were so brave, even though a mummy chased us. We rode camels in the desert. We are back. So much for taking this adventure with me. Let's slowly begin to come up to a seated posture, bringing your hands together at your heart, and we'll finish with our yoga magic code word, which is namaste. That means I wish you well and you wish me well. After three, one, two, three, namaste. Bye, thank you so much. Until next time.